So welcome back or welcome to Yoga with Kira. This is day 14 of ground. Uh, connect with an animal. Uh, so I had a conversation with somebody. You're going to stand on your mat. So I had a conversation with somebody yesterday and they were like, oh, I've been trying to keep up with the yoga and I couldn't keep up. So I just stopped. So then I said, remember that my yoga is like Brennan's bread. Today's day today. So if you just turn up once a year, do that day. Okay. So I'm going to talk about this a little bit more. You don't have to keep up with all of them. Some of you do, which is amazing, but just today's class today. Okay. Um, so come stand on your mat. Come, come. So standing on your mat and your feet are hip distance apart. And just bring your hands to your hips and roll. Noticing what you encounter. Um, Margaret was saying that she, her legs are really telling her that ground is happening, that she's feeling a lot of sensations. And I was like, hmm, how cool. So great, so feel your legs. Nice, and then just begin to roll up and down. So standing and just bending your knees, rounding your back, roll forward. And just feel the, um, the sounds of your spine, the sounds of your hips, your bum, your knees, your feet. And then roll all the way back up again. And let's reach your arms wide, palms come together. Palms come down and then roll down. So what is the sound of your body as you move this morning? Is it able? Do you have to go gently? Do you have to listen in? Do you feel vulnerable in your spine? Do you feel strong in your spine rolling down again? And adjust your movement. You know, be how you are in your body, not some other way. Be this way and listen and move and adapt. Nice. One more time. Rolling down. Nice. And then rolling back up. Arms are wide, palms come together, and then come to stand on your mat. Now we're going to twist as we come forward. So turn and look to the outside of your right foot, and then slowly roll forward. And there's a moment where I kind of fold over my rib cage and fold over my hip. And then I meet the outside and the inside of that right leg. Come back up. Nice other side. Turn and look over the left leg. And roll down until you... Bring your hands somewhere close to the floor. How do you travel from one side to the other? And what's this like in your spine, in your legs? What new sounds <laughs> from your body? More so than your mouth. <laughs> Emerge as you move. Nice. One more time each side. So I'm dropping down to the right or whatever side you're going to. And then dropping down to the left. Nice. So the next movement is a series of, of loads of different movements together. Okay. So we're going to start slow and then we're going to build it up into a flow. Um, so at no point would I be saying, oh, engage your core, but you will be engaging your core. So it's, there's some bits of it that will be strong. So adapt accordingly. So bring your left hand to your left knee and then reach your right hand forward. Nice. And then standing up, reach your right hand towards the left. And as you reach your right hand towards the left, pull your left elbow back. Nice. Left hand to your knee, right hand forward as far as it'll go. And then marshmallow to the left. <laughs> so marshmallow is where you have a marshmallow in your hand and you're going, would you like this marshmallow? And you're reaching as far as you can towards the Right, standing up straight as you do it. One more time. Reach forward with the right hand and then reach to the left with the right hand. Nice. Other side. Right hand, right knee. Left hand comes forward. And then pull your right elbow back. Left hand moves to the left. Right. <laughs> right hand, right knee. Left hand to the right. Nice. Right hand, right knee. And then left hand to the right. Nice. So we're going to get a little bit more complex. So bring your left foot so it's pointing towards the left. And then reach your right hand and reach so far that your 
right foot begins to lift and I've pulled my left elbow back. So either your toes are just light on the floor because you're lifting and you're balancing or your toes have lifted. See what's right for you, okay? Come back to center. Your right foot's now pointing forward. They're at a 90 degree angle to each other. Bring your left hand to the floor. It's a little bit more complex, a little bit more balancey. So reach towards the left and then bring your left hand to the floor. And so it's the right hand that reaches to the left. I lift the right foot off the floor and then left hand down. So pause when you reach to the left with the right hand. So I'm reaching through my arm and I have the sense of like trying to touch the wall in front of me. And as I do that, my back foot is counterbalanced by the reach of my arm. So right now I didn't say engage your core, but you're engaging your core right now. There's a whole body action happening and it's all in a gesture that we're, we're finding it, that we're moving it. Bring your right foot to the floor, right hand to your knee, bring your left hand to the floor, bring your right hand to the floor. Okay. So now our both hands are on the floor and we're going to kick the left foot up behind us. Left foot down, rise, reach towards the left with your right hand. Okay. So now both hands down, Kick your left foot up behind you. Right hand to the left. Last one. Kick your left foot up behind you. Pause there. So I have this sense of length through my left leg. My hands are pushing down. And then just roll into that right ankle, uh, left ankle. Roll in the other direction. Bend your knee. Draw your thigh towards your chest. Stretch your leg up. Bend your knee and up. Nice. Both feet to the floor. Sit down into whatever version of a squat that you do. Bum might be high, elbows might be on your knees. Bum might be low. See what you do. Listen to your knees. Just pause there. Nice, stretch to your legs, rolling up, other side. So turn your right foot towards the right and then reach your left hand and reach it so much that your left foot starts to lift. I've pulled my right elbow back, nice. Bring both hands to the floor in front of you. You can use your knee as always. You can keep your back foot on the floor. You can adapt and adjust. So both hands to the floor. Left hand reaches right, left foot lifts. Down. Reach. One more time. Down. And then pause on the reach. Find that moment of deep counterbalance. So my left hand is reaching, my left foot is lifting. I have a sense of, wow, my, my whole body is connected in this moment. Nice. Both hands to the floor. Kick your right foot up behind you. <laughs> foot down. Reach to the right. Both hands to the floor. Kick your foot up behind you. Both hands to the right. Last one. Both hands to the floor. Kick your right foot up behind you. Pause there. Nice. Roll into your ankles. Big circle. Oh, the right ankle. And then roll in the other direction. Nice. Bend your knee. Draw it onto your chest. Stretch your leg up. Bend your knee. Up. So maybe you sit on a chair for this bit. Maybe you bring your elbows to your knees. Maybe you sit your bum down. Find what you do. Pause. Wiggle your wrists wherever you are. Have a sense of motion, movement. Nice. So come into your downward dog from wherever you are. Coming into your downward dog, lengthen through your body. Have a sense of the whole of you right now. Nice. So bring your 
right foot to the outside of your right hand. So that might be where you drop your knees down and then help your foot forward to the outside of your right hand. Stretch through your back leg. Breathe into your belly. And then notice how would you lift the right hand off the floor? How would you lift the left hand off the floor? So I'm going to really deepen into the contact between my ribs and my right shoulder and my right knee. Let's find how do you, how do you balance? Nice. Bring both hands to the floor, stretch out through your front leg, bend your knee, bring your knee as far forward as it'll travel. Listening to your knee as you do this, always. Cool. And bring both feet back together. Pause. You're back in your downward dog. I'll have a bit of a wiggle. So I lit my fire last night. It was really lovely. Wow. Yeah, it was just it's so elemental. You know, connecting to the coolness of the grass, the stars above, the air. And then the fire is so beautiful. Oh. Drop your knees or step your left foot forward, whatever way you do. And then lengthen your right leg so it's long behind you. How would you lift your left hand off the floor? How would you lift your right hand off the floor? Just feel that, get a sense of the work that you do. Nice. Hands to the floor, stretch out through your front leg. Bend your knee. Stretch out through your front leg and bend your knee. One more time, stretch out through your front leg, bend your knee. Cool, step back, downward dog. Mm, have a bit of a wiggle. Moving. So bend your left knee and stretch a bit deeper into the right side of your body. And to do that, I'm gonna drop my weight into the bending knee and then bend one knee, drop your weight that side. Bend the other knee, drop your weight that side. I'm just feeling that. Nice. So step your right foot halfway forward so it kind of gets stuck underneath your chest. And then lengthen your left leg up towards the ceiling. Nice. Bend both knees so your left knee comes to the floor. Stretch your legs. Lift the left foot up towards the ceiling. Bend your knees, left knee down. Stretching up. Left knee down, last one, up, cool, other side. So step back into your downward dog, bring your left foot halfway forward, reach the right foot up towards the ceiling, bend your knee, touch your right knee to the floor, up, down, up, last one, down. Great, both feet back. Lengthen. Cool. Come sit on your bum all the way down. Legs are long. Fall into your wrists. Move your fingers. Move your shoulders. Move your neck. Have a sense of kind of easing out or rolling into anything that feels like it might be working still. It's like when we're in a pose, we turn on the lights in that place. But then we have to learn how to turn the lights off. So is there any lights on? <laughs> Anything left on in your shoulders and neck from the last movements? Wiggle your toes, move your feet. Just check your knees. Anything left on in your knees? Anything you need to attend to? Cool. So bring your feet so that they're maybe two feet in front of your bum and hold on to your knees and pull. As I pull, I lean into the front of my chest. Oh, I know what we're going to do for November. Mmm, very nice. Oh, so yum. Oh, yes, yeah, so we're halfway through ground and November has landed. It's very cool. I'll launch it next Monday. Like next, next Monday. Okay, so 10 days time. So just squeeze your shoulders back. Oh, open into your chest. Nice. And then round your back, reach your forehead down, reach your fingers forward. Nice. Pull on your knees, sitting up tall, leaning back, maybe looking to where the wall and the ceiling meet. Round your back, reach your fingers forward. I just feel that this is a really deep 
So the last few days we were doing, you know, bowls of water, lifting up and down, spinal waves. This is similar to spinal waves, rounding the back. Arching the back, one more time. Rounding the back. Arching, so keep your spine arching because everything, as soon as you go to lift your feet off the floor, everything in you will want to round. So keep your chest lifted and see if you can lift one foot off the floor with your chest lifted. And then other foot off the floor and just do that. Maybe lengthen your foot up, but keep that sense of rising through your chest more so than collapsing backwards. So whatever point you begin to lose the lift of your chest, stop before that. So my chest is lifted. Maybe even turn your palms or bring your fingers to the floor. Find a way of supporting your chest lifting. I'm going to bring my fingertips really lightly to the floor. I'm just now beginning to float my feet off the floor. But I'm like widening and lifting and opening. Be careful of your neck. No extra effort into your neck. Maybe you do both legs. Chest is lifting. One more time, whatever you're doing. Hmm. Come lie on the floor, all the way down, land on the floor. Settle your body in, land. And then sway your knees from side to side. Arms are wide perhaps, see what you need, what feels right for you. Hands could rest on your belly as you go, or arms could be overhead. Sinead always does that. She likes it up into her shoulders, that sense of lengthening. Oh, that's very nice, actually. So arms overhead, if that feels comfortable. Opening into the chest. Nice. Bring your feet wider. So they're now as wide as your mat. And arms are overhead. And begin to, like, as I drop my knees over towards the right, I'm leaning into the left rib cage, left hip, and I'm going to reach a bit extra through the left arm, like I'm trying to touch something just beyond my fingertips. And relax, drop your knees down towards the left, reach a bit extra through the right arm, right armpit, and then back. I'm just traveling one side, lengthening. I feel a little bit like my head travels in the same direction as my knees to give me an extra bit of shoulder extension. My head is somehow in the way of a complete reaching of my shoulder. So then go even further as you reach, roll over onto your side and then bring your left hand forward straight in front of your face. Nice, come back. Drop your knees down, reach, and then let that reach bring you over. So let the movement be connected and continuous. So drop your knees down, reach through your arm, and that reaching will bring you over. Drop your knees down, reach, and bring it over. All right, so one more time each side. That's a very, really lovely move, wow. One more time. Nice. Stretch both legs up towards the ceiling. I'm going to shimmy my, my chest and my neck so my neck feels really steady. Lengthen up through your legs and roll into your ankles. Well, and roll in the other direction. Really feeling the ground beneath your back and feel the sense of your feet, your legs, your toes, your calves, your ankles. And really feel them. So don't just see that you're moving. Like close your eyes even. And what tells you that your feet are moving right now? Or what tells you you have feet that are in motion? Or what tells you your feet? It's kind of an achy feeling where I broke my leg a little bit just there. I'm like, hmm, interesting. Went for a run last night. And then roll in the other direction. Nice. Cool. Shake out your legs. Shake, 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 shake. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Hmm, yum. And keep wiggling. And there's a certain point where one of your legs will get confused by the wiggle and it'll start pretending to wiggle and the other one will continue. Ha, there it is. 
And so one of my legs starts to do a funny wiggle because it's it doesn't have the same kinetic understanding. <laughs> so find the, the crazy place with your leg wiggles. <laughs> All right, some feet to the floor. And just rest. So either feet together, knees wide, squeeze your knees up towards your chest. Bring a block underneath your pelvis. We did that back in. Oh, I can't even remember which one we did. And it was connect. It was connect. Um, so today the task is connect with an animal. So this morning when I was out walking, so I have millions of animals here. There's <laughs> just so many. But I was walking um, this morning and I, it was so beautiful. You know, the sky and the, it's just beautiful. And then suddenly there was like, oh, and there was a horse in a field beside me and it was right at the gate. And so I ended up, and the horse was so warm in the coolness of the air. Um, and there was something really, and there was a kind of a horsey, just a horse. It was just beautiful, such a big animal. So this was my oh, connect with an animal moment. So find an animal. You know, you can do it from a distance. You can, you know, just see. You know, you can stare at an animal. You don't have to touch it. You know, see, how would you connect with an animal? And what is it like to be present to an animal? Um, so nice, guys. Um, I'll see you all tomorrow, uh, day 14, and it's Saturday. Yeah, let's see what we do Saturday. <laughs> Some kind of wild and wonderful adventure as always. And um, thanks for being here, and I'll see you all tomorrow. And remember, Brennan's Bread, today's yoga today. <laughs> Bye.